They are everywhere. It is the most sought out job within its field. Men dominate it. Women try so hard to break into it. What is it? Sports journalism. My name is Emily Ray Hodgson, and this is Sideliner to Headliner, Women in Sports Journalism. In the next few minutes, we will investigate the limitations in sports journalism for females. One woman knows exactly what sports journalism is all about, Andrea Kramer. Until this year's NFL season, Kramer worked for NBC as a sideliner reporter during Sunday Night Football. During her time as a female sports journalist, Kramer reported for over 20 Super Bowls, an NBA Finals game, a Stanley Cup Final, and co-hosted many sports programs for her network. One accomplishment Kramer cannot write on her resume, play-by-play -play commentator or a color analyst. Why? Kramer was never given the opportunity by her network. Is it because fans prefer male commentation? I asked the students at the University of Maine what they thought. I never really thought of it actually. It just, I watch hockey so it's usually retired hockey players who are all males, so it just kind of works out that way. I have no problem with that. I think that's great. They always have the women on the sidelines doing reporting. I think that's cool. I don't, I wouldn't have, I would be unfazed if they had women calling play by play. No preference as long as you know the game, then you can do the job. Um, I'm fine with it. Um, it's different because, I mean, I think everyone's used to men. And when you hear it, you're just kind of caught off guard a little bit. But, I mean, if it's something I want to watch, I'll watch it. So. I don't think it would have any bearings on my thoughts of the game or whether or not I'd keep watching it. The students at the University of Maine Rec Center did not seem to mind a woman reporting play-by-play. I decided to ask a woman in engineering to express her opinion on the subject and how the struggles in her field compare to sports journalism. I think it, they represent it pretty well. They do a pretty good job. They always talk like they know what they're talking about. They're not ever, it doesn't seem like they're ever treated with disrespect. I mean, sometimes they might be glammed up a little bit too much, say with the hair or the jewelry but they always talk very professionally in what they know. Like even in the movie Anchorman, there was all male anchormen and a lot of it, so it's finally turning the page and finally going on where it can be a both a male and female job. Just like engineering was a lot of both male when people started and I hear now people saying how, oh, 20, 40 years ago, this was never like this. There was never this many women in this major and whatnot. Yep, I think they'll be seen more of like for their talent that they have instead of for the fact that if they have brains or beauty, it's more of just what their talent is. I for myself want to make sure that there are other girls who aren't shied away by engineering because they think that it's something that men do. I want to make sure that there are more girls knowing that they can join engineering and I want them to do that. But as for myself, as for my professional development as a woman engineer, I just want to be able to do what I can do and show people that I am and talented and smart enough to do the job that they asked me to do. Erin Andrews, an ESPN co-host for College Game Day, finds herself in a similar position. She told the Washington Post in 2009 that, quote, I feel I constantly have to prove myself out there. People are always in shock to find out that a woman can be as big of a sports fan or as knowledgeable as a man, end quote. Professional sports mainly consist of male teams. I asked Samantha Wheeler, a UMaine women's basketball player, how she felt about female commentators. No, as long as they know what they're talking about and that they have knowledge of the game, I don't think it really matters what their sex is. And, but I feel like that people don't really give females a chance that they actually have knowledge about, you know, football and baseball, like the more male sports, I guess you can say. Um, but I feel like either gender is, can be <laughs> suitable for the job. <laughs> Well, there you have it. Sports journalism continues to progress, and female sports reporters can only hope for more. I'm Emily Ray Hodgson, and this is Sideliner to Headliner, Women in Sports Journalism.